Well guys, welcome back at I'm watering PSUs and here we are with the undervolting of this Ryzen 5 3600 which is going to result in actually slightly higher performance, lower temperature, lower power consumption and dramatically lower noise. This is actually going to extend the life of your CPU as well. So I say we get started, we don't waste any time and we go into the BIOS. Now here we are in the BIOS but before we get going with the actual tutorial I want you to promise me one thing, okay? So if this tutorial is gonna work, you will subscribe to the channel for more, okay? This is the only thing I ask. Let's get started. Now you wanna get into the BIOS and as you can see, I'm using a B450M Pro 4 from ASRock, but this will work for every single motherboard vendor out there, including ASUS, MSI, Gigabyte, all of them. So what you wanna do is go into the OC tweaker or AI tweaker or tuning, depending on your motherboard, okay? So you wanna go into here and you will have a ton of settings, but we are only looking for three settings, okay? So the first one is gonna be the XMP. Just enable your XMP so you can get your RAM speed. Now after that, what you wanna find is find your CPU core ratio and CPU voltage. Now, depending on the motherboard, those things will be called differently, right? So in this ASRock motherboard, which is pretty, pretty simple, they are called CPU frequency and voltage VID change. You wanna go here and put manual. This will unlock uh, basically our frequencies. Now, what we wanna put, and here are the magic numbers in case you wanna just copy it and then close this tutorial. These are 4000 and 1.2, okay? Now you can hit F10, save, close the tutorial, and you would have already finished. However, if you wanna spend a few extra minutes with me, I can explain you why we're doing this and how you can improve it a bit better, okay? This is just, if you don't wanna waste any time, you can just copy it, go away. But if you wanna stay, here we are. So this is the frequency. It's what our CPU runs at. Now at stock, it runs at 3.6 and it boosts all the way to around roughly, depending on the motherboard, 4.2. However, it does not sustain 4.2. So by putting it at 4,000 megahertz across all the cores, we're actually increasing the frequency quite a lot. Voltage. At stock, it goes all the way from 1.1 all the way up to 1.4. 1.4 will degrade your CPU and actually reduce the life of your CPU. That's why a ton of Ryzen 5 3600s have had plenty of issues. There are many videos about it. One from Techies City I absolutely recommend you check out. Now, if you wanna get more performance, you wanna push the frequency higher. You go 100 megahertz at a time. So for example, in this case, you would go 4100 and then you would go into Windows and test if it's stable. If it crashes, you need to increase your voltage. And now you wanna increase this by 25 millivolt at a time. So you can test this. And if this is not stable, you go here and this will be stable, okay, for sure. Now, if you also wanna test the maximum of your CPU and get even lower performance, you might wanna set this to four gigahertz and try if it's stable with 1.175. It might be stable. You have to test it out for yourself. So this is how you play around with this. And this is actually how you overclock your CPU as well. Because remember, CPU goes all the way up to 4.2. So if we wanted to do a sorta of like overclock under volt kind of thing, we could try to push, for example, 4300 megahertz with like 1.3 volt, something like that. We could push it like that. So that's how it works. Now, if you waited this far, I will also give you a, an extra tip because on some motherboard, you will have something called offset mode to your voltage. So in case you wanna keep your frequency to be the stock one, but you want the voltage to be lower. So you still want your CPU to go up and down, up and down, up and down, which I don't recommend, but in, if you want to, you can just go into offset and apply a negative VCore offset of 0 0.05. That's also gonna work uh, and improve your life dramatically. So this is it. I have many more tutorials on the channel. I have many builds in which I show you how to build PCs like this for cheap. And if this was helpful, please keep your promise and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.